In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the transpose function to turn columns into rows and how to turn rows into columns. So let's go over a simple example where we're going to turn a single column into a single row. So here in column A, we have a list of names. And let's say that somebody told you that they need you to put these names in a row across the top of the spreadsheet. And if this list of names were really long, you would want to do that with the formula instead of one by one. And so what we're going to do is type equals transpose parentheses A1 colon A. We're telling Google Sheets that we want to transpose column A. Now I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, the list of names are now displayed across the top in a row rather than a column. And it did this instantly without you having to copy and paste or click and move or anything like that. So now let's go over an example where you'll turn a row into a column. Again, let's say that your boss wants you to turn all of this data into a column. So we're going to use the transpose function to do that. I'm going to type equals transpose parentheses c1 colon 1. Remember that in this case, we're specifying a row as our source range. And so I've typed c1 colon 1 which is row one starting at column C. And then I'm going to press enter. And Google Sheets has turned the row of data into a column of data. Now, if you want to copy and paste these results from the transpose function as values only so that you don't have formulas in your sheet anymore, simply select the data that you want to copy and paste and then hold control on the keyboard and press C to copy like you normally would, but then hold control and shift at the same time and then press V to paste values only. And so this has pasted only the text and the numbers and it's gotten rid of the formula. And so this is something that's common to need when you're using the transpose function and you don't want formulas in your sheet after it's given you the results. So here's an example of using the transpose function with multiple columns or multiple rows of data. Here in columns A and B, we have items and the price that each item was sold for. And if we wanted these columns to be turned into rows, we could do this with a single formula and we would simply specify the range A2 through B with our transpose function and it transposes both of the columns. So again, these columns are now turned into rows. The items and the prices are listed vertically over here, but right here, the items and the prices are listed horizontally. Here's another example using multiple columns, but again, doing the opposite thing where we're turning rows into columns. So here, the original data is listed horizontally, and if we use the transpose function referring to rows two and three by specifying the range A2 colon three, the rows are then turned into columns. So here's an example of transposing with the larger data set with even more than two columns. So here on the top, we have scores for different assignments for multiple students, and the students are listed vertically and the assignments are listed horizontally. And we can actually transpose this entire data set so that down here, the students are listed horizontally and the assignments are listed vertically. And we've done this again with the transpose function by simply referring to the range A1 through I9, and this entire data set is transposed. So let's go over one more example where we will transpose data that's on a different sheet than the formula. So here on this sheet, we simply have raw data again, which is the same data that we looked at in the last example. And we want to transpose this data, but we want our formula or our transposed results to be held on a different tab. And so what we're going to do 
is use the transpose function to refer to the data on a different sheet. And so I'm going to type equals transpose parentheses, then I'm going to type an apostrophe, and then type sheet one, and another apostrophe, and an exclamation point. This means that I'm referring to the data on sheet one. And I had to put apostrophes before and after the tab name, because in this case, the tab name has a space in it. So you always have to put an apostrophe before and after the tab name if the sheet has a space in it, which in this case it does. And again, make sure that you put your exclamation point. And now again, I want to refer to the range A1 through I9. And so I type A1 colon I9. Then I press enter. And now my data is transposed. And the transpose function is referring to the data from sheet one. We're telling Google Sheets to transpose the data from sheet one in the range A1 through I9. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you want to read the article for this video, I've linked the article below.